Moon Lady Airs. It's Lady Moon with Mike today, and he has had some requests. Yay! Anything that you guys want to know about getting fit, especially for us older folks, he's the man. Okay, here's Mike. How you doing? It's good to see everybody again. And I've been getting questions about inner thigh fat, how to burn that away. So here's a couple of good ones. If you have weights, make them your best friend if you can. If not, and in some of these exercises, it's about how far you can actually spread your leg. So, depending what you can do is what you can do. One of the best ones I find are what they call sumo squats. For inner thighs, killers, just killers. You want your feet basically shoulder width apart, and you want your toes pointed outwards, like a tendon two. This is where you want to start from, and basically you're just going to come down from there. Now. This is the hurting part for inner thighs. That's more going to be quads. As if you can spread your legs out further, it's the same foot position, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 45 almost, and then do them that way, then come back up, or even further, as far as you can spread your legs, put you that way, is the best way. And time under tension, as I always like to talk about, when you get down to the bottom, um, hang for a second. For a little bit then come back up you will feel it and on the inner thighs in hours especially when you're down in the sumo position now there's also variations of this if you find it's kind of easy and you can do too many hold the weight if you can if you have one right here in your hand and start with the little ones, right? You start, you start with it. First start with nothing to see what you can do. Right. And right. it's not about getting to the weights. It's about endurance. How many can you do? If today you can do 10 and it really hurts, stop. Do your 10. The next time you do them, give yourself a day of rest, at least a day of rest of that mm -hmm. muscle before you try it again. Then try something out and try it again. See if you can get 11, 12. I mean, once it gets to the point where you're knocking out over 20 with no problem, then you should think about maybe getting a three pound weight first. Okay. Then a five pound, eight pound, 10 pound, whatever is really helpful for you and not hurtful. Don't want to go too far too quick. Don't want to push too hard. But you do want to push because if you don't feel the pain, you're not changing anything. And that's it. The more pain you feel, you can stop after, ooh, that hurts, or maybe you can try to squeeze out one or two more. It makes a big difference if you can just squeeze out one or two more even though it kind of hurts. Just like the bodybuilders say, no pain, no gain. Well, it's really true. No pain, no loss. If you're not burning, nothing else is burning off. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember that too. So the sumo squat to those, and I showed you a version of these. These are basically well, courtesy squats is the correct term for them. Curtsy, it's like you're just giving a quick bow. How you doing? And you can do those also in place. You don't have to walk. Just switch legs or do one leg at a time. And honestly, if you can step out further and do it, that's awesome if you can do that. But just take a little step at first. Because even that is going to affect this part of the muscle, whereas stretching out brings in more. So you'll feel it in different areas. So you want to do down toward the low, keep it a little tight, like that. And out further, it'll be up further in the thigh. Excuse me for all my dust I was working today too. So I have all kinds <laughs> yeah, of we stuff work on. for a living. <laughs> yeah, I do work for a living. <laughs> so that's another good one. Also, side squats. Bring your feet back together. Stick one leg out now, as far as you can, and kind of. Now, if you want, you can lean this way, turn your feet this way, and do it. Some people kind of like to lean this way a little bit and put more pressure on the hip. But to me, that's more pressure near the hip area. So swinging your feet takes it right off and puts it right back on the thighs. It's just a variation of that squat, but just turning mm -hmm. in the hips. If you can see the muscle diagram of how your inner thigh muscle attaches, it connects in a couple different spots inside your thigh okay. when it comes up from the back. So when you're doing certain ways like twisting, 
you're hitting different one of those heads. There's like four different spots. I don't know the technical nerd, the names of those, but I have seen the diagrams. I'm just not that smart to know the names of all the <laughs> little muscles. But I know by that twisting. That muscle, this that muscle, guy. just listen. But when you twist and you do it that way, you're hitting different ones. So that's another variation. Okay, anything else after that? Lunges, squats, sumos. One of the best ones. Now basically, these were all just standing ones. So while you're on your feet, everything I'm showing you is standing stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's plenty more laying down stuff. We'll do that another day because it's hot out here and we ain't staying out here and cooking no more. <laughs> so that's just a bunch of basic standing things you can do for your quick legs, those lunges. Again, if you can use the weights, use them. They're going to help. If you can handle heavier weights, use them. If not, just do it until it burns. Continuously, um, consistency rather say. That's what you got to do. If you keep up with it, there will be results. Mm -hmm. If you just do it intermittently, you're not really going to get what you want. So it's really how much desire you have to push. What you want yourself to look like. So, because I'm sorry to say, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's not going to be easy. It's okay. You know what? It's worth it. Yeah, so, it is worth it. We want to get in shape. We want to be healthy. And we don't want to have to go to the doctor all the time as we're older. So we do this stuff. I don't yes. want to go to the doctor at all. <laughs> Ever. Me neither. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Everyone, Thank you, time. Mike. Again. Any quest? Any requests? Send them oh, out. Oh, and oh, Igor oh. says, "Yes, send them out." <laughs> Blessed be Moon, ladies. Oh, oh.